hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to link your combo box with your database and I have shown one column containing names in my combo box now in this video I will show you if you select one of these names how can you display the corresponding data in these text fields so for example if I select Mark from here his employee ID his name Mark his last name and his age should appear here for every name right so how can I do that I will show you in this video so first of all just select your combo box and double click it and this will lead us to the event of this combo box combo selected index event this is and if you remember in the last video I have shown you this fill combo method right to fill the combo box just copy this code within the function or the method from string to the catch block here and we will once again go to the form and just double click it and inside this combo box event I will paste all the code here okay and this code will remain same just I will change the query so I have the database called database and table name is eData and I have this column name EID name surname and age four column I want to show in the text boxes when I select something in the combo box so I will write select star from database dot eData and I will edit the query after that where name is equal to single quotes then double quotes and double plus and inside this double plus sign I will copy the name of this combo box which is combo box 1 copy it and paste it here and then write dot text okay and uh, then in the while loop we have written last time this string declaration and we uh, have populated the combo box with the names so I will delete this combo box one dot items dot add a name and I will copy this string variable and paste it four times because I want to show the name employee ID surname and age so first is EID and here also I will change the variable name EID name will remain same here I will change surname surname and here also column name so these are all the column names right which are like these this column name EID name surname and age and last is age and here also age okay but here in the last string uh, I, I have age as a integer so these are having 
I will show you. I will just right click my database and alt uh, database where you will be able to see the data types of the columns. So EID data type is int name data type is var var which is just like string and age is also data type int right so i need to change this one age and eid as int so i will go here instead of this string i will write int and in here also my reader dot get int 32 this is a standard form for int in C sharp for here also I will change the same int and in here also dot get int 32 okay so this will place my data in these variables now I have other problem this int I cannot show in the text box because text box we can only pass the string values right and if you pass the integer in the text it will show some error so I need a trick to convert my int into the strings so that I can pass into my text boxes so what is the trick let's see I will just change my int employee ID as string so it will show the error but you can change this int into string by dot to string right and bracket and back closed and your error is gone so in this way you can convert your int integer into the string for this also I will do the same for the age dot to string bracket and bracket closed and this is it so I'm taking employee ID in this string name in this and the surname in this and the age in this now I will pass these strings into the text fields so just go to your form copy the text box name of your AID and come here paste it here dot text is equal to this one first employee ID string okay same I will do for all the four text boxes just take it and paste it here dot text is equal to name this one once again surname and I will just copy the age also text box okay and I will just copy this dot text paste it here paste it here is equal to is equal to and I will copy this and paste it here and copy this and paste it here right so what I have done is I took the column values value from EID and then pass it into the string 
and then I will transfer this string into this EI, uh, employee ID text box. I think for this I don't need a while loop so I will just commenting this and now we will run our code okay so let's see if it's work or not username password correct second and my combo box is filled with the values but when I select any values from here all the respective values should appear here let's see no it's not appearing invalid attempt across the field before calling so okay let's go to our code once again so initially I thought that I don't need this while loop but I think now I need this while loop because it's showing me some, some error so uncomment this while loop and just run the program once again username password correct and when I select any value in the combo box it will show me the respected value of that name right we can check against the database also so let's see for example I select John it will his employee ID is 1 his surname is Bell and his age is 27 so let's select John his data comes okay so we know that it's giving us the right values so in this way you can show your selected combo box items into the text field I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now